is a work from home Friday. We are required now to go into the office Monday through Thursday and have the option to work from home on Friday. And normally it's like two extremes when I choose to work from home on Fridays. It's either I don't have much work and working from home, from home I can you know have more flexibility to just take it easy and like take care of some of my own stuff or I am just way too busy on Friday and have a lot of things to get done and so I want to save like the commute time to the office as you can see I haven't dressed up yet I haven't washed my face I haven't taken a shower yet very work from home situation I have here my room is a mess as always at the end of the week so we'll have to clean that up sometime. I just had a call at 9 a.m. I slept pretty late last night. And so I rolled out of bed and quickly jumped on on the call. Thankfully, it was just a listening call. Now I'm gonna try to, you know, get a little bit more put together before I get to work. I actually ended up taking a very quick shower and also clean up my room a little bit. Show you guys. It's just slightly cleaner. This is my workstation. I have a huge monitor here, my laptop, and also keyboard and mouse. Really just the basic setup that you need. I do feel like the monitors have been getting larger and larger. I've never used monitors before working full-time in finance, but right now it's almost impossible for me to work off of a small screen. <laughs> A little about my job and the work that I do as an analyst. Private equity and private credit, in a nutshell, is investing in private companies through equity and or debt. There are different things you look for when evaluating an equity versus a credit deal. One is focused on upside potential and the other on downside protection. The ultimate goal is to identify good companies to invest in and obviously to get a good return on your investments. Now my job as an analyst spans throughout the deal process. For early stage deals, analysts are paired with a managing director and then a mid-level person like an associate or VP is added to the deal team later on if the deal advances. Analysts are really responsible for taking a first stab at everything, putting together memos, models, initial legal documents, question lists for the management team, interacting with the investment bankers and other third parties, performing all the data analysis, and I can go on and on through all the things we have to do when underwriting a deal, but I think you get the point. I normally start off my day by catching up on my inbox, which believe it or not, always builds up during the few hours I go to sleep. I typically have a good idea of what I have to get done for the week, but because this job involves live deals, my schedule is very dynamic. Your plans and priorities can change drastically from day to day and even within the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, so so instead of... I received an instantaneous call from a managing director to discuss some calculations I completed for a deal that we are working together on. This is very normal throughout the day. Analysts are typically staffed on multiple deals at a time, like two to three live deals and a few early stage deals and you have to be prepared to speak to any of the deals that you're on at any time. Thank you, bye. Today, my priority is to put together an investment committee memo or an IC memo for a new opportunity. These are basically PowerPoint decks that summarizes all the due diligence the deal team has completed on the company that we want to invest in. These decks are usually used to present to the investment committee which needs to provide the final approval before any investment is completed. Some of the common topics that we cover include an overview of the business, its customers, vendors, historical and projected financials, margin profile, management team, industry, competitive landscape, as well as what the deal team identifies as the investment highlights and investment considerations.
weight right now and I am my stomach is starting to call on me telling me that I'm hungry and so I'm gonna try to order something on Uber Eats for lunch and I've been thinking the entire morning and craving for either congee or Vietnamese food it's very cold in my room so I want something warm and the thing is if I'm going with congee I would go with congee village that's the good thing about being located in the midtown area I have access to almost everything through Uber Eats but if I want to go with Vietnamese food I don't really know which place I'm gonna get full from so I'm gonna have to do some research and figure out what I want for lunch I was just looking at these roses and didn't realize how pretty they are because a few days ago when I received them for my birthday they were still like kind of closed up but now they've opened up a little bit and it's so pretty I think roses are supposed to symbolize love and like just you know emotions in general good emotions that can be love for your friends love for your family just feel like it's such a nice flower with such great meaning and it's also just really really pretty like look at this oh my god finally got my food i ended up going with vietnamese um, ordered some spicy short rib pho and some spring rolls. My mouth is like watering right now. But I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. It's been almost one year since I graduated. And since living by myself and working full time, I've mainly been ordering takeout and delivery from Uber Eats just because... I spend most of my day working and our firm also allows us to reimburse our dinner up to obviously a certain amount and so i already spend most of my day in the office i'm leaving the office at around eight to nine on average um yeah i'm not gonna be coming home and then cooking my own food especially when i can reimburse my dinners and even on weekends um i also mainly eat out or like order food because I feel like if I only make food and go grocery shopping for two days for two days of food it's not really worth it and I might actually be spending more money that way it's also just time consuming this place I ordered from is called Saigon Shack I think it's actually a pretty well-known Vietnamese place in New York City. Mm. just woke up from a nap it was supposed to be a short nap like 10 minutes I was just very tired um, but it turned out to be more like an hour nap which is honestly not bad for me considering some of my naps just turn into you know waking up the next day and be like oh oh my god what just happened um, but you guys must be like why in the world is she not working? Shouldn't she be like super f***ed 
up with work every single day because she's working in finance. So long story short is originally I thought I was going to have a memo due. It's basically like a PowerPoint deck for that you present to your team and your investment committee to share the opportunities. I was supposed to have that due, you know, this week um, for a presentation next early next week, Monday and Tuesday. But we never ended up getting sufficient materials, sufficient data for that opportunity to put together a memo. So my MD told me that real, real, realistically, it's gonna be for the following week. So it's not that I don't have to work on the memo anymore. It's just, I don't have to be pulling like an all nighter and going crazy f finishing up this memo, which is why I you know, had the time for a nap. I'm ready to go out for the first time today and I'm gonna go to a grocery store to buy some fruits. It's like eight, eight already and it's dinner time, but I'm still full from my Vietnamese, Vietnamese food from lunch. And I've been eating outside way too frequently, AKA almost every single meal, every single day. And just want something clean and refreshing for tonight. Oh, and I also wanted to show you guys this baby here that I received as a birthday gift this past week. It's a tote bag. I always needed a bag for work and so glad I got this for my birthday. I'm just so obsessed with it. It's so nice. It's perfect for work. The color, the size, the leather. into them i mean like look how huge they are like this is not natural for blueberry it's currently 8 30 now now that i've gone through my emails and there aren't anything immediate for me to work on for work that's due early next week i am going to move on to study for some CFA. I'm actually so proud of myself that I've been able to consistently do some studying every single night, even though work isn't as busy now compared to the end of last year, just given the market, it's still very tiring after an entire day of work. I still have to put myself together for another hour or two of CFA studying every night. Otherwise known as economic resources or economic benefits and Not to get all deep and emotional, but after starting full-time, I sometimes get caught up in the idea of how I'm living a never-ending cycle of work, work, and more work. At the same time, there's a whole list of other things I need time for, such as finding an apartment, taking care of myself, tending to my family, and making time for my friends. That's when the existential crisis hits, and I start questioning the point and meaning of life. I really try to think long term, but truthfully, the future is often a blur. I'm not sure what my next steps are in terms of career and in terms of aspirations. What kind of person do I want to be? What kind of life do I want to live? And what should I be working hard towards? I'm often obsessed about making the most out of my life and time, which makes me anxious when I feel like I've gone on detour and made wrong decisions. But I'm learning to worry less and to just live at the moment and focus on giving my best for everything I do. Focus on the amazing people I have beside me and the small things every day that make me happy. Be that a sunny day, going to the gym, or even just a delicious dinner. In terms of the future, think of yourself as the intersection point of many paths in front of you that all lead to great ends. As long as you are making progress every day, you will eventually figure everything out and find the right path for you. I'm 
finally done studying for the CFA. I just finished some practice questions, multiple choice questions, and it is actually already 12 a.m. already. It's very late. Um, but yeah, that was about my day. I'm gonna spend the rest of my, or you can call a portion of next day, you know, just on my laptop, watching some TV and also doing some YouTube video editing. Thank you all for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments about anything that, any content that you would like me to cover in the future. If you haven't already heard this today, just wanted to tell you that you're doing great.